Hey guys, on this episode of Mr. Fix, I'm going to show you how to adapt a rigid vacuum end to a DeWalt slider. Now this is, this is a DWS 780, but there's a 779. Anyways, this is a slider. So what happens here is that you got this stupid bag here, and it's got this little holes in it. And I don't know, I don't have uh, you know any faith in this thing without a vacuum to blow it all this way to get in this bag. So, I have this vacuum. This end is very small compared to the large end here of a rigid. Now, the issue is that there's no adapter. There is an adapter that they sell up in Canada here. It's 20 bucks and it kind of fits in and you can kind of see the way that it works out. I don't really like it. It's gonna stick out even larger. So, went to my local home, home Depot and I found this flex pipe cap. Six dollars Canadian. So, it's two inch. Well, guess what? Fits just right on these things. Well, this is gonna work out really well. The only issue is, and the nice thing about it is, that this piece, because it's closed on the inside, you're gonna be able to drill it out and adapt it to anything that you want on this. Now this will work on the rigid. I don't know how it's gonna work out. So what I did was I looked at it and I did a test hole on it. And this one here is an inch and a half end piece that I have. Inch and a half end piece. And here we're talking, it's about an inch, almost an inch and three quarters. So I want a snug fit so it doesn't come off. So I tested it on one, it worked out pretty good. Got nothing to lose here. So I'm going to do, before I do that, I'm going to do a little test hole here from this side and then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and straight. All right. That's my hole there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go nice and straight. in there. So, let's see what happens here. And this, the beauty about this is, hopefully it stays on. So now I'm just gonna kind of work it a little bit. And it's working really nice and tight, which is what I like. And it even snapped in on that one little thing that it had there. So that's perfect. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now if I get the vacuum on, this works out perfect. There you go. So it looks pretty good. If this was to slip off, I even have a screw to tighten on there. Seems really well. And the beauty about this is, I don't like this. You could still use this bag, still use it. Maybe you, if you want to push it a little bit more in the back or whatever, that's, that's fine. But the beauty about this is, I much prefer the rigid bag that I have because it goes down versus sticking out even this much more. And if I did this correctly, boom. And I have a rigid bag associated to this, and I have the vacuum for five bucks. 590 something Canadian. I'm sure in the States it's even cheaper. So this will be able to adapt, quick change, and you still are able to use the DeWalt bag if you want. But uh, I think uh, I think this will work out a lot better. Alright? Thanks for watching.